Okay. Wait, no. Wait. Okay. Okay. I want to finish the prologue. Or epilogue? Epilogue! I don't know if any of the Blood Bowl people stuck around, but this is a really fun RPG. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. No kidding. Wait, what? No, he definitely was. Well, partially it was hypnosis, partially it was a hero complex, and partially it was just him being kind of self-important, actually. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The princess was very, very pretty. When I saw her, I was all like, ah. Looks like we're in Lag City. Ah, uh, such beautiful buildings. They have all they have such architecture and historical flair. Hmm. Ugh, that's rough. Ooh. Fuzzy pickles, that's an earthbound reference. I'm on to you. This is her daughter's present. Hmm. Yeah, let's go in there where it's less laggy. If only for a moment. Is that Chloe? the birthday celebration could match the excitement of the martial arts competition. We've got more foreign visitors than we've ever had before. Seems like it's going to be pretty busy around here. Neat. I heard that Jill and Hans were here, so I sneaked out of the castle and came to see them. You've been nothing but helpful at every turn. <laughs> I heard about your adventures from Chloe. Sounds like you've been busy. brings me here? What brings me here all this time? And that's the first question out of your mouth. Do you know how lonely I've all my nits have been? Do you? Uh... Do you two have something to you need to work out? I'll never forget you, Joshua. I came running all this way to the capital to see you, but where's the princess outfit? <laughs> I'd love it. Okay, back out to Lagtown. Okay, uh... No one's in here. 
Which I guess makes sense. They are presumably out. Oh, hey. How many times are we going to take a roll call, Dad? How many times until you're satisfied? someone else. How could she have possibly done that? Right. Hmm. Yep. We are pretty great. <laughs> You hear about the coup d'etat? It was pretty serious, but the Royal Guards and the Braces put a stop to it. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's anyone in here. What about down here? Oh? Hmm. Back to Bosse! I hope our passengers have a safe and enjoyable flight. Hmm. One can only hope. Are those the two from Bose? Or from Zeiss, rather? Hmm. I can't believe she said yes when I invited her to the birthday celebration. Well, they are engineers. It makes me kind of nervous dancing around like this in front of the embassy. Wait, no, this is, this was my... Whoops! Let's just, uh... Let's just, uh... Let's just, uh... Just a moment. Well, that's going to be interesting to not edit. Um, 
right? Uh, there's only one scene that I want to repeat. Then we'll take a different route and we'll end over there. I thought I was, I thought my end point was somewhere else, which is why I, end, I went over there first. really wanted that conversation because I feel like it was important. Not that the other ones are unimportant, but anyway. It probably doesn't matter, but I wanted to do it. Well, imagine because he did. That Richard could even dream of a coup d'etat. Some troops fight for their country because they truly love it, and they always took him as such a man. Somehow, that love must have become twisted. Perhaps he convinced himself he was serving the country by doing this. I have to believe that. I can't imagine he would ever incriminate himself for any less noble reason. Why are you still here? After all this happened, I'm glad the town's gone back to its pe to peace. Estelle, Joshua, how goes it? The Archbishop was very kind to me when I took asylum here. I wanted to thank him and keep him up to date on the current situation. And I wanted to thank both of you, too. You're the reason we were able to save Her Majesty and the Princess. If you hadn't been there, well, at any rate, you have our sincere gratitude. Archbishop. I guess he's probably in the back. Yep. Yeah. Hard and honest work will always lead you down the right path. Posts. Hmm. <laughs> it goes over Estelle's head. I don't know. I don't know, to some extent I'm kind of with Estelle. Like, I agree with the set with the sentiment, but not necessarily with where it's coming from. Um Or how it's uh anyway. Famous army guy such a coup. No kidding. Hasn't been sold yet. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Let's just, uh... 
Aha! I got the achievement. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've had a story this juicy. The bracers and the royal guards storming the castle? It's no wonder the birthday celebration is more packed than ever. <laughs> Were you okay being left on your own with the gate? He was very courteous and mindful of my needs. He made sh sure to plan our daily routes so as to not wear me down too much. I haven't had any complaints about a gate at all. Are, are, are you sure we're talking about the same gate? He's no Cassius, of course, but I am still grateful. <laughs> Estelle, Joshua! Grandpa promised me we could have ice cream. I asked the gate to come too, but he said he didn't want to. I didn't think the martial arts competition would be used as a cover for a coup, but Colonel Richard didn't seem very confident with his position. I'm not gonna get the... Okay, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to buy another liberal news article in the epilogue here, but I'm not gonna get the achievement for that because I missed the very first one! Or rather, I totally got it and read it, but it didn't count it because I gave it to my to Cassius. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> I've been recognized by the Archbishop, so maybe I'll put out a book about my trip. I was shocked when I heard Colonel Richard try to stitch a coup! Mm-hmm. Well, no, it definitely got started. <laughs> it was an unsuccessful coup. But it was a coup. Yay! Estelle and Joshua! You know, Neil was telling me something interesting. Oh? Joshua, of all people, to be breaking the fourth wall like that. <laughs> Our special edition covering Colonel Rickard's coup d'etat has generated a whole lot of buzz. Our special edition coup, er, our special coup edition has been flying off the stands. Hmm. I'm off to cover this ice cream that people have been lining up to eat. Okay, uh, oh, yeah, no, there, well, huh, I was expecting this to be like City, the sequel. Hmm. to imagine Colonel Richard as the one who planned the... Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no freaking kidding! Wait, was there a thing here? 
No. I'm glad Her Majesty has got better. I think I was missing just one or two quartz as well. Hmm. Maybe they were in those boxes that I missed. It took so much time to get here with all the airships grounded. aren't getting out because the airships were all grounded. Festivals are so much- yeah. There's an ice cream shop in the East Blocks that's doing great business I hear. I want to check them out, but the lines are so long I gave up and went home. With conferences day in and day out, I imagine Her Highness must be a very busy woman. I was planning on going home early, but I guess it didn't happen. That seems like a good idea. this? The Fisherman's Guild! The best fishing gear is that which represents engineering efficiency and elegance. The sort of gear I'd want to own even if I never fished at all. <laughs> that does sound like you. Our growing, I mean, society. The world is going too fast for me nowadays. I'll never forgive Colonel Richard. He's branded the airships and stolen our fishing from us! Uh, and there was also the coup d'etat. I love it. Anyone up here? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, I'm getting pretty curious about this ice cream shop. Lots of people are talking about it. Everything he said in that magazine review, it was all propaganda. Mm-hmm. The martial arts tour tournament could be an opportunity to hone my skills. And if Zin the Immovable made an appearance there. Hey, you two. I'm in no rush. There doesn't seem to be any crisis in the Republic. Besides, this country is full of fine opponents. As long as I'm here, it would be a waste to leave before testing my mettle a bit. <laughs> she doesn't speak for both of us. Feel free to hold back if you'd like. In fact, I might even prefer it. <laughs> better than any other junior bracers. You did a remarkable job. Based on your performance, I'd say you two are already full-fledged, fine full-fledged bracers. But never forget, these are only the first steps in your career. Just about everything except the identity of... Yeah. Yep. Yep. That checks out. that guy too. Sucks when someone turns out to be a backstabber. Hmm. Oh. Everyone looks like they're having so much fun. It's just, this is the first time I've had a chance to work with you like this. But you two really do a nice job of covering what I mean, you know, if you know what I mean. Hello? Anybody home up there? Read me between the lines, you doofus. I guess I just need to come out and say it. Nothing wrong, Joshua. <laughs> Shara! Shopping with colleagues. Been long overdue for a nice shopping trip. I'm long overdue for a nice shopping trip. I don't get much of a chance these days. Yeah, I think that checks out. Okay. No, he's he's a pretty awful person actually.
If I can't get rid of my wick, if I can't get my wicked tongue under control, I'll never be allowed to sell tea. So I need to just bite it and be nice. I'm gonna teach myself everything I can about teas, and try to talk to the owner into letting me sell them. That'll show that smug sister of mine who's the real ex Um... Good luck with that. <laughs> Through my actions yesterday, I have caused this grace much trouble. That's probably for the best. <sighs> I keep forgetting to ask Danton to order some teapots for the Republic. Next time he has a chance. From, rather. Tea goods have gotten really popular with women folks lately, and I think they'd love it. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> hmm, that's still a little hot. <laughs> but listening to her talk about tea really makes me want to drink tea. I should put on another I should put on another thing of iced tea for my freezer actually. Wait, no. What the words that just came out of my mouth made no sense. Let's try that again. I should make another pitcher of iced tea and put it in my fridge actually. Thanks to that coup d'etat, the liberal news has been flying off the shelves. Let's, uh... Did not get the achievement. Oh, well. Ahem. <laughs> Yesterday at noon, a group of compromise... A group comprised mostly of bracers and members of the Royal Guard stormed Grenzel Castle. After rescuing Her Majesty, who had been placed under house arrest by the Intelligence Division, said group suppressed the Special Operations Unit of that division, thereby liberating the castle. ID Commanding Officer Colonel Richard, as well as other high-ranking officers, were placed under arrest and charged with attempting to incite a coup d'etat. In this issue, I intend to make a full account of the hidden truth behind this string of incidents. <laughs> A message to readers. I'm sure there are many of you out there who are dumbfounded by the headings printed in this issue. Up until now, this magazine has withheld publishing information concerning major events which surrounded the occup occupation of Royal Castle, placement of Her Majesty under house arrest, and other such circumstances of pertinence, in an endeavor to uncover the ID's dark conspiracy. The Liberal News sincerely apologizes for the abrupt coverage, and in addition, asks that the readers understand our decision on this matter. <sighs> the young founder of the Intelligence Division, behind his humble facade, there lurked a calculating schemer enacting a carefully planned coup d'etat. Richard's plan all began through the utilization of the ID as a personal recruitment tool to amass a group of senior military officials mired in corruption and illicit affairs. These actions allowed Rich Ricard, Richard to hold the heart of the Royal Army within the palm of his hand, for a time at least. General Morgan and other such incorruptible figures of importance were forcibly bound, imprisoned, or were otherwise restrained. In sum, the soldiers in blue uniforms were the perfect imitative deception which, with which to frame the royal guards. The goal of the incident itself was to secure certain test equipment and abduct Professor Russell, the leading specialist in orbit research. But the background surrounding this event is still under investigation by the Bracer Guild. 
After getting control over the, a large majority of the army, Richard finally set his coup d'etat plan in motion. Placing his ma just Her Majesty's nephew, Duke Dunan von Oslees, on the throne in her stead, Richard assumed control over the royal family from the shadows. His plan was to press Her Majesty to abdicate the throne by taking Her Highness, Princess Claudia, hostage. But the Royal Guard, led by First Lieutenant Schwartz, saw right through the machinations. A fierce battle ensued between the Special Operatives Unit, Operations Unit, and the Royal Guard over Her Highness the Princess. However, being outnumbered, the Royal Guard's stand ended in defeat, and Princess Claudia was taken captive. Following the incident, members of the Royal Guard were branded as terrorists, and the unit was driven underground. With nothing standing in Richard's way, the success of his coup d'etat was only a matter of time. Amidst the chaos, an unheralded ray of light shone down upon the scene. A certain few individuals infiltrated the castle and slipped past the security of the Special Operations Unit. Moreover, they succeeded in meeting with Her Majesty the Queen, who was under house arrest at the time. I have refrained from writing these individual names in deference to the Bracer Guild's quest, but suffice it to say, the Guild itself, which has be had been in the dark due to regulations sanctioned by the IB, was for the first time able to grasp the direness of the situation, thanks to information acquired by these heroes. After being appraised of the chain of events, the Bracer Guild would become a central force in opposition against the Intelligence Division. The Bracer Guild advanced with the estranged Royal Guard and set about liberating the Herb Royal Villa through a joint operation carried out under the Veil of Night and beginning with Her Highness Princess Claudia succeeded in rescuing the hostages. Then, yesterday, using the tolling noon bell of Grenzel as the cathedral as the key, our rescue team, primarily made of bracers and members of the Royal Guard, pressed forward with a plan to storm the castle in a three-pronged attack from air, land, and underground. As the rangers, rangers <laughs> of the Royal Army, under the command of the IB, fell upon the liberating group, a deadly battle with the SO unit erupted within the halls of Grenzel Castle, and even spread to the lower levels. The struggle finally came to an end with the safe rescue of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. At roughly the same time, a unit of the Royal Army that had come within sight of the castle ceased its advance after being persuaded to lay down arms by General Morgan, who had escaped from captivity and rushed to the Royal City. The coup d'etat plan, which had been crafted by Richard and the Intelligence Division, had been without a doubt thwarted at the narrow brink of no return. As is evident from the information presented in this article, the ambitions of the Intelligence Division were not shattered by the strength of a lone hero, but by the combined courage of a host of unnamed individuals who in the end wielded the strength necessary to bring down the curtain of these, this intricate scheme. It has also been rumored that a number of civilians stood shoulder to shoulder with the ranks of the Royal Guard and the Bracers in this endeavor. During the final struggle, the forces gathered together on the Liberator side were, in fact, put in a situation which many would agree was insufficient in terms of strength to combat this foe. However, it was the courage of these civilians that compensated for this deficiency. As the reporter caught up in the mix, I was also one of those individuals who found themselves being borne up by this incredible energy. Among those who gave me the strength to carry on were two junior braces in particular, to whom I owe a special debt of gratitude. For without them, penning these articles would have been impossible. As we come to the end of these two too much to us events, I am once again overcome with feelings of reverence and thankfulness. 
The two individuals of whom I have spoken are scheduled to be awarded their long-awaited status by the Bracer Guild at any moment. Please forgive my use of the following space for a personal method of consideration to the heroes who saved the liberal. My heartiest congratulations to the both of you, and if you're ever in the mood for curry, it's on me. That's sweet. The Royal Guard, which had been branded as terrorists and forced underground, has had its honor restored. The Army Strategic Operations Headquarters also decided today that the Royal Guard will be officially reinstated, and it is expected that First Lieutenant Schwartz and all of her fellow officers will be returning to their former unit. The coup d'etat plan was carried out by a division of the military that should have served as a protective shield of, to the Republic. The Royal Army itself, unable to forestall this serious incident despite the threat it posed to the nation, will refocus its prime objective on restructuring and reorganizing in order to prevent such tr future tragedies. Eh. To head that movement, the Royal Assembly has already proposed the leadership be awarded to General Morgan. The Royal Army has shown signs that it will comply with these demands, and General Morgan is expected to accede to the official commander of strategic operations. In addition, it was announced that former Colonel Cossius Bright, who acted as the General's right-hand man during the Hundred Days War, will be making a return, this time as an adju adjunct to the commander. The former colonel had, after the war, resigned from his post and transferred his considerable talents to the Bracer Guild. Ooh. Yesterday afternoon, numerous reports came in from all over the kingdom to witness a mysterious light. It has been said that a beam of light shone from the tops of the tetracyclic towers. We are presently awaiting an investigation into this matter, as no further details are known at this time. That was a mouthful. Okay, uh, over here. Excuse me. And hmm, I have not seen. I have not seen this guy, Olivier. Oh well. Oh, I reset it for nothing. <laughs> okay, well, no, we're good. Walking all over the place can really take it out of you. For the moment at least, Rancel seems like it's a genuinely at peace. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Maybe it's just part of his nature. Which means we're not beholden to any specific branch. I can go wherever we want. Anytime a branch is shorthanded and requests helps, help, we'll just take an airliner to get there. But our newfound freedom also comes with responsibility. I mean, hey, we actually managed to help stop a coup. And if it means I'll never have to hear Dad going on about how it worries him. <laughs> yeah, I think his days of saying that are at an end. You really showed him what you can do. Still, I think I'd like to stay with you from now on. Oh? Would I just get on your nerves? Just that we know each other so well, and we can practically read each other's minds. I think we make a good team, and I'd hate to break that up. <laughs> but 
I think you're projecting a little bit, Estelle. Although, to be fair, that was pretty... Well, I mean, it wasn't that ambiguous. Boy, it sure is hot out here today. <laughs> oh, there was ice cream! I forgot about that! I didn't see the line anywhere, though. My, but do I envy your youth sometimes. Oh, it's this guy. It's been a long time since we've last met, hasn't it? So much has happened lately, but things are finally settling down again. People truly thrive in the most peaceful times. Is something the matter? You look a bit pale. I would have thought you'd have been better spirits now that you've attained senior bracer status. Speaking of which, I must tr congratulate you on your success. So long as, of course, I'm not being too forward in doing so. Um... <laughs> Uh, oh, in all the cases we've dealt with, there have been people who just forget things. You're always there, investigating, no matter where we've gone. Your timing always seems a little too good. Professor Alba, was it you? Impressive. Even with your cognizance and recollection being puppeteered, you were still able to piece it all together. What? Allow me to clear away your confusion. What? 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 What is happening? <laughs> when you your heart it was in tatters, it was I who rebuilt it. I who restored it. It was I who poured a soul back into that empty vessel. What? What? And for its what? A stray? It is as you surmise. I was kind enough not to erase your memories of him. I'm su not surprised you were able to make the connection so quickly. I'm sure he'd be pleased to know you were thinking of him. Nothing of the sort. The first phase of our plan went off without a hitch. Since of a moment to spare, I simply thought I'd come to see you. The gate which blocks the path to the ring. Wretching it open was but the first step of many. If you really wish to know, why don't you rejoin? I'm certain you'll be able to return to active duty in no time. You needn't look so glum. We can get you back into fighting form. You greatly admire your father, to say nothing of the girl you so adore. Even with him on our side, Throwing those gifts away would be the actions of an idiot. And so, I've come here to see you. 
I came to offer you true freedom from our association, as thanks for the integral role you played so perfectly. Which means that I must congratulate you, Joshua. You are already a free man. I am most grateful for the work that you've done over the past five years. Oh, don't be so boring. I was expecting a little bit more cheer out of you at hearing such news. The... why? Oh, pardon me. I, com I completely forgot to tell you. I never intended you to be an assassin, but rather a spy. The society abandoned you. We played on the pities of a noble-hearted man, and it worked. You were given a loving home. And while you were there, our contacts would check in on you from time to time. We were particularly interested in your reports on the movements of the Bracer Guild and your intel on Cassius Bright. Of course, you wouldn't remember having done such things. You were not yourself at the time. Cassius Bright, S ranked Bracer. He is the foremost impediment to the success of this plan. We felt certain he would be quick to act in order to stop any coup d'etat that should occur. But through a detailed analysis of his behavior, we devised a plan that would lead him out of country for a while. The intel you've unknowingly been feeding us has been most useful indeed. And so, I must thank you again. The past five years have been an inestimable help. Why are you so sad? Has your feigned ignorance not earned you a beloved family? If you say nothing, they will never know. However, it's the sort of thing that might weigh heavily on a fellow. Since your fellow members of the Bright Household are such good people, perhaps a little too good. You are actually the worst person! You have no place in the lives of normal people. You'll never be happy in their... Uh, you... Wow. Ouroboros. That's an ominous name. Your sister and Louie. You've got me. To tell the truth, I've made several major advances in my archaeological research. You might say this put me in a good mood. The 
actual worst. Joshua. Joshua. What you doing, Joshua? Well, when I give it some more thought, it seems kind of silly to try and... Um... Joshua! Toy with our emotions, Joshua. You're better than this. Shara. Did you think Joshua was acting weird at dinner? Well, yeah, but... <laughs> I don't... Okay, so I don't like this ship, but I like a whole lot that everyone can see it. <laughs> like... You, you know what? No, just straight up. My only problem with this ship is that they are siblings. And like, I get it that they're adopted, but this, come on. And maybe I should just like pretend that Joshua wasn't adopted. But he was. Ugh. I'm never asking you for advice again. Uh, 16 is just when puberty is about to hit? I'm not so sure about that, Shara. Listen, my protege. Oh, Estelle, big sister has moved to tears. Hmm. This room is empty. Oh, that would be Joshua. Oh, I, I, I need to find him. Well... Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I mean, I was pretty sure that would be where I was going. This is the wrong way. Oh, it's Olivia. Hmm. Do you enough Imperials? The whereabouts of light. 
A very old, Erbonian melody. A perennial favorite of the country folk. I guess Olivier is a traveling musician. He would probably know. Um... Oh, there he is. Hey, Estelle. Nice night, isn't it? I've lost a lot. But this song and this harmonica, they've always been with me. I've been thinking about why I play it. Maybe it's a habit I should quit. I think I want to tell you what I was doing before I met you. This may take a while. Do you mind? Once upon a time, there lived a little boy, all by himself. He was the timid sort, relying on the kindness of others without a single redeeming trait. But he had people he cared about with him, so he was happy. But one day, something happened that broke his heart. He forgot how to speak, to feel, even how to eat. All he could do was play his harmonica. No matter how hard his caretaker tried, nothing helped his heart to mend, and he grew weaker by the day. One day, a wandering musician appeared before the boy. I will heal the boy's heart for you, he said. Provided, of course, I am compensated. And so, the boy was given over to the music the magician's care. Yeah. As he attempted to piece the broken heart back together, the magician found he could shape the boy's existence into anything he wished. And so, the boy's new heart became that of a murderer. For two years, the boy killed every single day. Under cover of night, he murdered dozens of soldiers. He slit the throat of a national cabinet minister who was under heavily armed guard. Sometimes he used explosives, which maimed and killed the innocent bystanders. At some point, he became regarded as something more than a mere killer. He was known as the Black Fang, and the name struck fear into the hearts of men. One day, the magician gave the boy an assassination order. His target was a hero, a man who had protected his queen and nation from the threat of an invading northern country. He was a bracer who held a special rank shared only by three others in the entire land. But the target was too strong. He defeated the boy with all the ease of a tiger squatting at a playful cub. At that moment, some of the magician's servants showed up. Since the boy's face had been seen, he was now a loose end to be tied up. But someone came to his aid and drove the attackers away. It was, of course, the man he had come to kill. And so the boy... The boy was taken to the man's house, where he met a young girl. He lived there for five years, always feeling like he was lost in some wonderful dream. In the real world, he would never be allowed to have such dreams. But all dreams must end someday. The time was drawing near, 
when reality could be avoided no longer. boy can't be saved from his real purpose. His presence alone seems to bring disaster and misery. He's just tainted. But the boy set out on a journey in hopes that he may keep his misfortunes from the ones he holds dear. He will find and stop the foul magician who created the life he has led. That's the last remnant of my human heart. I won't be needing it anymore, but I want you to take it. It's hardly an adequate way to thank you for the last five years, but I can't think of anything better. Stop it! Stop talking about it like it's a dream! You make it sound like nothing that's happened was even real. What difference does the past make? Your heart is broken. What does it even mean? No matter how much the boy was hurting, I always saw how hard he'd keep holding on. Yeah, um, apparently that's a thing. I mean, I sort of expected something like that. Maybe not the scope. You can't just leave me on my own. Is it still crying? My feelings won't just go away when you do. I won't let you. It's a fast-acting sedative. Don't worry, there are no side effects. My time with you was the happiest and most painful I've ever known. Just as the brightest light casts the darkest shadow, if you stayed with me, you'd find out just how disgusting my true nature is. Sometimes, I think it would have been better if we never met. But this time it's different. Somehow the, the like front on portraits are always really creepy in this game. I don't know how they do it, but consistently it's it's on an angle. Oh yeah, no, that person looks fine. It is straight on. What is going on? It's a monster. Uh. Joshua. What? No! Oh. And that's the end. I feel like Josh was really playing into the hands of the of the e evil. What was it, Wiseman? It is some of Wiseman. Okay, we did it! Yay! What am I gonna play next? <laughs> yeah, I mean, on the one hand. Like, he's clearly being manipulated by Wiseman. He is clearly being manipulated. So I can sort of give him a certain amount of benefit of the doubt from that. 
but at the same time, it's really obvious, and he's just doing it. But... He's making a bad decision, but I can understand making a bad decision when you're emotionally <laughs> in a terrible place. Drugging Estelle then running off on her, her though, that is like... I want to take at least a short break before I start second chapter. I mean... I want to play Final Fantasy Tactics, but I don't, I don't have it set up for that. I'm pretty sure I can get Tactics to work now. I don't know, I might just start second chapter. <laughs> Uh, that might be... I don't know. Uh, what I need to do, actually, is I need to figure out, like, a nice short game to play in the intermediary before I start a second chapter, because I feel like I want to start it sooner rather than later, but I would rather take, like, a short break from it. Uh, I don't know. I'll look through my library to see if I have something. If it was, like, June, I would just... I would start... I would do the uh, five job fiesta because I'm going to be doing that in June. But it's April. I'm not waiting that long. But yeah, this was so much fun, and I definitely want to see how the story continues from here. Screw you, Joshua. <laughs> um, okay. Well, on that note, I think I am done for tonight. Thanks for joining me in the end there, and uh, until next time, whatever it'll be, have a great day. Bye! Oh, actually, I'll answer that before I leave. Um, it was Estelle and Joshua and Tita and Chloe. And now I am actually going. Have a good night. Bye.